great to be back. The crossover season two. We're coming with new segments, new episodes. EJ here, JR, Marky Mark. How do you guys feel? Feeling great. We're back. We haven't. We didn't get canceled. Let's go to what we do. The rundown. You got news. We got posts about basketball. Let's run it down. What do we have? So new season's out. Uh, Raptors played yesterday, or well, a few days ago. Uh, what do you guys think of the uh, first se- the first game? Because Demar Rose and Jonas Valanciunas they put up great numbers, 40 and 30. First time in NBA history that two players in opening night drop 40 and 30. What do you guys think? Mm. I, I like the continuity that the Raptors did this season. Um, if you really notice, they they did they did really little in terms of changing the roster. Um, just because of the fact that you've seen how far they came to, to, they almost came close to the finals, right? Two if games away. Yeah, they were two games away. And we did beat Cleveland. Right? A lot of people were, 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 were criticizing them of making so little move, but I think it was a good idea that they have such continuity just to kind of see, right? They, I know they lost Biombo, but it was hard to kind of, you know, choose between DeMar DeRozan and Biombo. It's kind of easy for them to make that decision. Right, so with the key, you know, little free agent signing that they did was was um, intended to kind of complement the, the the players that they lost, right? But they like they like the continuity that they have. It's easy for players like Demar, JV, Kyle Lowry to kind of get back into that mindset that they were, which is get back into you know <coughs> and go even further that the, what they came to from last season. So I like that they. And were I able think to that's do that. a big statement game because you know how. Uh, DeMar Rosen was ranked 40, 46 overall in Sports Illustrated of, of NBA players. So he wanted to, you know, make an impact, 40 points on the first game. And also be- off that huge contract extension for $135 million for for five years. He just wants to show that what they paid him to do, he was worth it. So Is you're right? saying, so. did you, hold, let, me hear, let me hear that straight. I think last season, didn't mm-hmm. you say... Something about DeMar DeRozan. You didn't say Chandler Parsons was... You did say Chandler Parsons say, was better than so you DeMar, DeMar DeRozan. So DeMar DeRozan, right? I'm he's saying, giving he, props I'm to saying them. he's trying to prove the money that he's worth, the, that he was paid, he's worth it. This is why I'm saying, which is, I like that, I like to see that. I said, correction, that it was in terms of how much money he was paid compared to how much Parsons was getting, was signed for. I think he was a better money, uh, better bang for your buck if you really want to talk about position-wise. Mm. Oh, well, that, that sucks, man. He's injured. Right? He's not but playing I'm saying, right now. Yeah, so we got to let the season go first <laughs> before we make any, any decision because Parson hasn't played yet. Mm. So we can't tell who paid, who you know got paid based on what they're actually worth. Mm-hmm. And talking right. about the season, we have a new segment that Mark is spearheading by himself. It is the Crossover Fantasy League. So Marky Mark, you know, let us know what that's about. So for those guys that don't know what it is, I know a lot of men out there fantasize about cars, money, and women, but this is my kind of fantasy, and this is what we call the NBA Fantasy League. We have our own the crossover league, and as you can see, we have 14 teams in our in our league playing. Um, not only that, but PJ is his first fantasy league playing, so I had to teach him a little bit about it because I've been playing for a couple oh, years. You haven't played fantasy and, before. He'd never play fantasy, so I had to teach him a little bit when we were drafting. So Don't judge I'm me. right there. I'm not judging. Guess what his name is? His name is the Bench Warmer. So we got a couple of our boys from all different areas. So we have actually players not just here in Canada. We have one of my uh, one of the team right here is from US actually. So Bea, shout out to Bea, shout out to Bea. all the way from US. In the fantasy and league. We have everyone here from different parts of the GTA. It's really sick actually. So what I'm going to show you is the first round in terms of our draft results. So. From our first round, we have first pick was Scott, and he was an auto pick, but he was able to pick Stephen Curry on his first pick. Um, some of the few key picks that I noticed that was really good. I know PJ made his first pick for Giannis, so I know Giannis is gonna have Giannis, a big game this freak, year. Freak. So his first player this year is Giannis. Uh, I was pretty lucky. I was I was at 11 pick. And I was able to grab Kawhi Leonard at 11 pick. And he's usually around top seven, top six player. So it's a pretty good player to have at that pick. But what I was really surprised about is after my pick, Anthony Davis with us. I was contemplating between Leonard and Davis to pull the pick. But I went for Leonard because I wanted that consistency and that uh, that he's uh, very durable. That's a smart move. But then the fact that Davis went off for 50, 16 and all that good stuff that he did like not just blocks steals and assists it kind of made me like it shook me up a bit even though Kawhi had a really good nice game right but the only thing that i'm questioning about with davis is his durability right so 
We also got some really good, uh, actually, uh, Lillard was picked uh, just a few ahead of me as well. So that's a really good pick uh, to have with Leonard there uh, and, and, and Lillard. But um, this is going to be exciting. Um, what I'm going to show you in, in our next episode is the, our team in terms of um, I can analyze a little bit more about fantasy every single week. We're going to show more of um, key by key stats that happens every single week and our matchups. Who's going to be matched up every single week in our league? Who's winning? What the standing is? And I'm going to give you all these goodies every single week with fantasy. So stay tuned, guys, for more and catch up on what, how, and what happens in a crossover fantasy. So back to you guys. Good luck to everyone that's in Mark's Fantasy League. When we come back, we're going to look at highlights from the NABA 2016 tournament, and that was in Pennsylvania, so stay tuned.